All right, hi, my name is Aaron. I'm going to be doing a demonstration focusing on the surface tension of water. We have a few things here for the setup. We have some soap, we have two beakers of water, and some pennies. Now, on top of this glass jar, we have a penny on this flat surface, and we're going to be dropping drops of water onto the penny to collect and show the surface tension of the water before it spills out onto the uh, jar. So what we're going to do is we're going to pipette up some of the water. We're going to count the amount of drops that can collect on the penny before it spills over. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. You can see it's starting to bubble off around the penny. We have 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, and we're out of water. 39, oh, and then right around 39 or 40, it spilled off onto the top of the jar, as you can see. This is a good demonstration to demonstrate how the surface tension of the water is very strong in making sure that it uh, stays together on top of this penny. Alright, in this next part of the demonstration, we're going to be adding soap to one of these beakers of water in a way to show how the soap will interfere with the intermolecular forces within the water, uh, reducing surface tension. So let's see what happens. We're just going to add nothing. <laughs> Here we go. So let's add some of the soap to the water. Stir it around a little bit. All right, now we're going to see how this disrupts the amount of water that we can put onto the penny before it slides off. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh. At 11, it's already spilling off, showing that there's a pretty uh, significant decrease in the surface tension of the water.